Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Bree Cherie, if you are new here, hi, welcome, thank you for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support and viewing my videos and coming back. Today I am going to do paycheck number two for the month of November. Now, I did not budget my first paycheck because, um, I've, as I said before, I was on medical leave. And because I was on medical leave, my paycheck was really short that I just basically just only use that for food. Or my paycheck was really short, so I only use that for my rent. And so um, today I have a little bit more money to work with. My paycheck is still extremely short. So I, I am aware. Um, hopefully next paycheck will be a lot better because again, it's a holiday and you know, we got things to do and goals to accomplish. So today I am going to budget again, paycheck number two. Um, it's going to look slightly different because the last couple of paychecks I did basically not spend too much money on food and I've cleared out my groceries um, that was in my house and so I am going to put a lot more money in food and probably spend money before I do a, um, my cash stubbing. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I went ahead and um, filled in my monthly spread now if you haven't seen my unboxing video for this planner um, definitely go check that out it is customizable which I absolutely do love so the only thing that I really have to worry about is my internet bill which is due um, and then that is it I went ahead Excuse this drawing that was my kid so I went ahead and added in my cash envelopes um, because of the way that this planner is set up I have so many boxes so I went ahead and did that um, so let's go ahead and get started on this oh I did already spend money because I got my paycheck early but <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I am working with seven hundred and sixty-one dollars. Again, not much, but it, <laughs> you know, it's something to to play with. So this is paycheck number two for the month of November. Um, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So I got to get used to these boxes. <clears throat> So I'm going to put cash envelopes there. I'm going to put my wallet envelopes here. And then my sinking funds here. So let's go ahead and start with my cash envelopes. Okay. So my cash envelopes are because I do the 50-50 method. Um, and I live on a cash-based system. I know some people don't. They use their debit cards. I prefer to use cash and use a cash-based system. So um, the difference is that I put, if I'm doing the 50-50 method, I put half of my bill amount in, let's say, credit cards, right? So if I'm doing credit cards, I'm going to put half of my amount that I owe for the credit card. I'm going to put it in an envelope, and then I'll put the other half when I get my second paycheck, and then I have the full amount to pay. So I do separate, and this is this is basically those that I dip in every single month. So credit cards, utilities, and put electric, and then... Um, Spectrum, um, rent, and 
what's my other one? Family, pet and family fun. Let's just put pet. Nope, family fun. And then sinking funds will be things that I don't really touch. So things I touch, but not really. Um, well, you guys know what sinking funds are. So where was I going with that? I don't know. Why did I put me? <laughs> um, medical. That's why. Medical, travel, clothing. Um, Amazon, which I did create an envelope for, um, pet, and what am I missing? Christmas, savings, emergency savings. And regular savings, just the expense savings, I guess. So this is going to be my wallet envelopes. These are what I actually take with me when I leave the house. Brie Cherie, which is myself, my mini me, um, groceries, restaurants, um, gas beauty so gifts household and that's it all right so the difference between let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see these so gifts are things that I use as far as donations that if I see people in need I just give them what that is so let's go ahead and tackle these numbers credit card is due on the 20 no the 19th so electric is due on the 10th spectrum the 20th third um so my phone is dead that's not very helpful all right so credit card is going to be Okay, so electric is going to be, I think I've already paid that, it's $49, it already came out my account, so that is $49. Spectrum is going to be, I'm going to say I think I owe $92, yep, $92. Um, $92, rent, I'm not, I'm not going to put anything in rent this paycheck because of the holidays, um, which again, I usually do a 50-50 method, but I'm not going to do anything there. Family fund, I'm going to go ahead and put $10. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and add this up. So, 35, 49, 92, 10, 186. And if I take that from 761, that leaves me with a remaining of $575 left. Brie Cherie is going to get $30. Mini Me is going to get $30. Groceries will get, let's put $250. Restaurants will get Thirty dollars, and I'm going to. I usually I budget twenty, but I'm going to go ahead and budget thirty, simply because I know I've already spent. This is the category that I spent money in, that and beauty. So that's why. Um, gas will get twenty-five dollars. Beauty will get thirty dollars. Gifts will get ten dollars. Household will get thirty dollars. So, 30, 30, 250 plus 30, 25, 30, 10, 30. 
$435, which leaves me a remaining $140. Ooh, this is going by really fast. Like the, the funds are depleting <laughs> really fast. Um, so medical will get $20, travel will get five, clothing will get 20. Amazon will get five, pet five, Christmas. I'm gonna hold off on Christmas really quick to add up how much I have left. Savings will get 10. So 30, 50, 70, 80, 85 dollars. So the rest will go to Christmas. So Let's see, hold on, what did I say, 85, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 85 dollars. When is 85? 55 dollars will go to Christmas. So, let's go ahead and add that up. 55, nope, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry guys. <laughs> 20, 5, 20, 5, 5, 55, 20, 10, which is $140, which leaves me a remaining of zero bucks. And you know, with my paycheck being this low, I'm not even bummed about it. Um, I'm still putting money into savings, so let's go ahead and put that in there. Money is still going into savings, so the total amount that I'm putting into savings, this paycheck is going to be $30. Um, the amount I'm putting into savings for my summary is $30. The amount that's going into debt is $35. And then goals, goals for next paycheck is going to be get back on track. With my 50, 50 budget. It's the holiday. My birthday is around the corner. I just feel the need to make use of every dollar and not feel like I'm on this strict, strict budget and can't have fun because that's what I was doing. I was only, if you are not new to this channel, I was only budgeting $150 for groceries and I was minimizing and not really having fun with, um, what I was eating. So that is not going to be the case for the rest of this month um, because I have drastically increased it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, yeah, I think I'm happy with this. I know that my income has basically cut in half, but I'm still happy with the outcome of the budget and that's all that matters, right? Let's make sure that we are realistic and effective when it comes to our household and our budget and whatnot. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.